Ready? Um, no. No, no, no. Are you ready? All set. Give me a second. I'm gonna murder anyone. Who All right, who's the guy? Clyde! 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 Oh, Clyde! Clyde! Clyde. That's so annoying. <laughs> On that note, welcome. I will push you off Legion Bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you on that. Okay, time to put Klein back in the hospital. I'm, whoa, whoa, I've whoa, been whoa. in the hospital. I don't know what y'all thought. It's a great way to get started. Yeah, they have him in a yeah. mental ward. I, dude, Klein, see, I am the mental ward. Now they're about the freaking bottom. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Klein, I Klein, shut up, <laughs> Now recording. What the? What the yep. fuck? You guys are all being recorded. Don't worry. Uh, um, I want to say first. <clears throat> not that. What's the safe word? I believe it's uh, Ken Klein. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, be sure. First of all, I uh, want to welcome everyone to the uh, the annual, not really annual, but the uh, the LAFD meeting. Uh, I appreciate everyone for coming out and uh, coming, first of all. Uh, we're going to go over uh, a lot of things. Uh, some of it, some of you may know, some of it you Some things that are new, changes, all that. Uh, I also want to give a warm welcome to our uh, new our new uh, EMTs. So that would be uh, our probationary EMTs. So that'd be uh, Striker. He's the only one that can make it today. So uh, welcome. Thank you. Thought and I swear to God. And then one thing we're gonna start off with reiterating. We have. I think for mo most of you that have been here for a while, you know that the LAFD is is not really a department; it's a family. It's we want everyone to feel like they're they're part of a, a family. It's it's not going to be you know clicks and all that shit. There have been recently some of that people disrespecting other members. That is not going to be tolerated in, anymore. If we see that happening, it, it will be dealt with, and it, it's not going to be pretty. I just want to put that out there now. It used to be, you know, everyone was fine, and recently there there has been some uh, some people not acting like that, and it's not going to be acceptable. Uh, may I bring a point? Go for it. Uh, another point I'd like to bring to the table is professional. Uh, just generally in a whole, um, even with, you know, CHP, PD, FD, uh, SD, we still have a, a standard to maintain of professionalism. We're, yeah, we're gonna no. get there. I am as more of like just not the whole. You're you know you treat us a patient. You just you know shit talk them the entire time you're treating them. This is just maintaining some some standard of professionalism standard. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next thing on the uh, the list is the uh, the FTOs have been uh, updated the the guidelines. So any any uh, any FTOs that are in here that's going to be uh, uh, 933 and then up everyone please refer to the uh the fto channel and there is a link there uh give that a reread thank you for uh john banks for uh updating this for us so uh, shout out to him uh, which channel uh, it's gonna be the fto 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 guidelines the policy guidelines it's going to be under documents it's just been slightly updated, not much. All right. Uh, so also going back to the the family thing, we we need everyone to realize that there there's ranks and those ranks are just in place for anything on the occasion. Uh, hopefully the rare occasion that something bad happens. That's the only reason why we have ranks there. Anything else that you guys are thinking of promotions, anything like that, it doesn't matter. We treat everyone with the same respect, regardless what rank they are. I don't get why some people, you know, they, they think that they need to get a promotion. If command sees uh, that's fit, then we will. That That's just the bottom line of it. Y'all know sucking up to us ain't going to fucking do anything. All of y'all know I don't fucking 
believe in sucking up like that. I hate dick suckers to the max. Yes, Mr. Tanklon. Hey. Hey. Franz, you <laughs> Franz. Okay. Now, from now on, Franz, I'm going to be playing Baby Shark the entire night when I'm aware of you. You are not. No. Oh, you yes. Oh, I'm going to play Baby Shark. Klein, I'm going to play Santa it. Shark. Fine, stop. You know. How, how, uh, so, how, uh, how often do you want to be uh, having like those ma- mystical flights off lead? Uh, I've had at least three a day. So, I mean, unless you can increase it to four or five. I'm sure he can. No, I can uh, work something in. Don't worry. I, we can we can talk about this after. We we just need to get through these things, yeah, and we can have the open discussion after. So, <laughs> next thing uh is assault. Uh, now we get that recently kidnappings have been uh crazy, and it hopefully it dies down. I've mentioned it to the admin team about kidnapping. Uh, from what I know, they're looking into it. That's the best I can tell you guys. I, I've had an EMS come to me and tell me that they've been kidnapped. I think it was 63 times. Dude. Uh, so that, that's not acceptable at all. It's not realistic at all. And we're looking into it as, uh, as admins. So with that said, uh, we are, we uh, you know, EMS are allowed to have bulletproof vests. Uh, that's going to be EMT plus rank uh as well as you can carry a legal pistol so that's going to be class one with that said you ha- you must have the proper documentations or license for that uh for the weapons that you're carrying we do not want you carrying around a big fucking a big gun around it's not realistic at all all right yeah i i i now wasn't really a fan of the whole class twos even back when we did cry them yep and we're not we're not really bringing those back just because it's not realistic at all. And guys, we, yeah, we, the reason that we had those, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. I thought you were done. No, go for it. It, it was just for uh, EMS that are also LEO at the same time. And if we have those weapons because we're off duty cops in the first place, should we get rid of those before going on nope. to the EMS again? Just don't don't use them. them. No. It's not real. It's not really realistic for us to carry AR-15 behind oh, the yeah. seats of our ambulances. It, it, it's it's basically if you have them, if you if it's if for the uh, AMS that are also LEOs, if you've got them, just don't use. Them. Uh, it's pretty much the point. Um, yeah, I made the mistake of legalizing class twos for our fire department back then. Then I got like ten pictures of Sylvia with like all different types of weapons for protecting herself. So. Yeah, it was something. No, yeah, I just now, usually use the uh, CZ pistol if I was EMS. I think I've only yep. ever used that. One. Yep, and even the, the ideal pistol is going to be a Glock. That's the ideal pistol that we want you guys to have. I mean, oh, and I mean, it, you got a forty-five, and you're an off-duty officer. I can understand that, but um, the other pistol choice, I might correct. The other pistol yeah. I might Everyone suggest, guess you. Sorry. Continue, Stables. It's our choice if we want to carry or not, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're not forced to. Um, no, actually, uh, you especially, Marcy, are going to have to carry. Wh- uh, wh- just, why? Shoot, just shoot their toes. So. Just shoot their um, toes. It's another, okay. I've got her back. Another, Don't worry about it. Another pistol I'd like to bring up is the, the, the uh, I think it's called the SNM, uh, guess you? It's no, the, the, the snub note. The small pistol, yeah. Uh, would make a bit more sense, and that's you know small yeah, enough to carry, yeah. more, more concealable and, for a uh, paramedic. And when you have that weapon, uh, you probably will never have to use it. The only exactly. reason that you'd use that weapon is if your life, your life is being has an imminent threat to it. That's the only reason why you'd use a weapon. Same with the taser. Yeah, but at if that point, you should already, already be leaving the there, scene, or calling LEOs. Same, same with the weapon. If there's a suspect that hopped out of your vehicle. You radio for you do not hop out of your your EMS vehicle and chase them down. And the aim aim you don't a do weapon that. at that person. I'll you fucking can, have your ass on a platter if I hear you some, exactly. one of my EMS go. You guys are not Elios, regardless. Yeah, of I know that, that was what's another point on. I was wanting to address is that I've seen Elios. I mean, sorry, AMS act as if they've got lawful authority as an as a um, no. Elio. You have no. zero. No, no, you got. 
So, I mean, here's the thing. There is a difference between... There's a difference between you actually doing something and chasing them down yourself. Then there's, hey, an officer is asking, hey, help me. There's a difference in that. If an officer asks you to help them, you can help them. That's fine. Because that's actually, that's police. Like, I've done that before, too, where I've asked the MSA, can you keep a taser on him while I'm doing something else? It happens. Just don't fucking, you know, somebody punches somebody in the face. Don't hop out of the ambulance like you're fucking Batman and go chase after him. Yeah, we have no lawful authority. Yep. Nope, and in fact, you can get in trouble for it. If you fucking, someone, if you fucking taste somebody wrongfully, you're going to be the one that's going to get in trouble, and you're going to be the one that's going to get arrested. And as all of you may have heard, we've already had one EMS that's gotten arrested in-game. For doing that type of shit. And Who was that? I remember. So, I can't okay. remember. It's uh, it was Mara. Thomas Mara. Thomas Mara. Uh, Mara. Uh, 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 one of me thought. All right. So next thing, now that we're we're on the subject of Elios, switching. Uh, it's gonna be you have to do callouts for when you're switching from Elio to EMS or EMS to Elio. I, mean, I thought that was a given. It, it, some it people aren't given, doing it. Some people aren't doing it. So you you must do that if you guys are Elio. Damn it, Jim. Wouldn't it be go. easier, like, putting your primary badge number on that? So if I'm on duty on EMS, I'll put EMS badge first, and then my Elio second? I don't like this. We've tried doing it. It didn't work. It's basically, if, so if I'm, like, for example, if I'm Elio and I'm switching up to EMS, I'll just go, you know, my 222, changing call sign, 93. It is, it's as simple All as you that. do. It's shot and sweet. It's all, it's all I also do that. Um, and to that, I feel like you should, well, not should, but I think what helps as well. I usually take my entire numbers out, and I only have my EMS numbers, so that when if, that uh, when LEOs get on, they don't think that you're a unit and either request you or think that you're a unit, so they can pull special units, et cetera, et cetera. Too. Well, that's, that's a good idea. That ties into situational awareness. If they're not paying attention to the blips on at all, which if you're not paying religious attention to it, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Now, with that said, Discord's fucky, and when you change your nickname, you have to leave the channel and rejoin it. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Even then, that even then that doesn't fix it. Yeah, sometimes it only takes like two ten minutes. Really? Which I just is, disconnect which you most is of the time. Why, which is why we're not relying on it. Which is why you have to call it out on dispatch. So next thing, uh, we've been seeing recently inactivity from some people. Uh, Altogether, EMS is killing it right now. It's it's never been stronger, and I, I say that from the bottom of my heart. And from the time that I've been on the server, we are we're, we're killing it. There's, it's never been this many EMS active. It, it's great that everyone's running. Uh, loving the RP that we're bringing, and keep up the great work. Uh, now now with that said with the inactivity from some people we do know about the people and we are looking into it now we're gonna start and you're gonna start seeing it you're uh you can start seeing people being uh suspended demoted or kicked out of the fd now oh, i have a question out there now so everyone knows and if you feel like you can't make it make it on duty then you put in uh, an loa and you let us um, I have a question to that. What about um, on that? Does that apl- also apply to EMS or also LEOs? We're about to get into that next. Oh. Don't jump the gun. All right. So, yeah. So, the, the next thing that we're doing is LEOs must uh, run one day a week EMS for a few hours. So, that, that will action will start being taken on that. So those of you that are across the department, I, I know that, it, you know, it can be stressful and all that, but you, you have to be doing the, the same. All right. It's just the responsibility that you're doing when you're part of the EMS. It's the bottom line. You took up on this responsibility to be in this department and you have to show that. All right. Now for all of you, uh, for all of you paramedics and above, uh, you can obviously most of you already have it, but medevac is available and for those of you that might uh, want to get it when, if you get promoted and when you get promoted, uh, 
you can reach out to uh, McFly or I, and uh, we can arrange training for that. Now, the other division would be fire division. You want to reach out to Roberts about that uh, and put in an application. Uh, now, there, there is a new, uh, if you, everyone turns over to important links, there is a website now that's, uh, that's basically a hub for all the important links now. So I want to thank uh, thank John Banks for that, by the way. Sorry for interrupting you there, Garcia, but he made that and he did all the work on that, so I appreciate it. If y'all if y'all need anything out of that, like any pages you make or anything, just let me know because I don't really know how to invite people to edit that. No, I got it. Appreciate it. If, good uh, work. So if if everyone looks at that, it's gonna have the roster, the medical guidelines, the SOP, incident reports, which we want you guys filling out, by the way. The uh, fire division application, uniform policies, the quick reference guide, and the uh, the run. So, uh, so start using that as a uh, as reference. Uh, real quick, RC, I'm gonna interrupt. Uh, we kind of skipped it, but also, guys, the medical guideline and the F. The SOP has been updated. It is on that link too. So please take a look at that before you go on duty next. It's not too much changes, but just some minor changes. Most of the major stuff's been highlighted or stuff like that. We just don't want to see anyone getting in trouble or doing anything stupid. Yeah, there's also, uh, if you go on there, there's going to be. Oh, a, his uh, uniform. If you don't know the, yeah, if you don't know the EUP, or it's not really EUP, but like the uniform numbers, all the parts for male and female are on there as well. Yeah, Banks made that for us. So I think Rico was asking for he was asking for a spreadsheet on which parts are the numbers for the clothing. But basically, Banks went ahead and made that, and it's on that link. So if you go to it, you can see which numbers are what for what clothing parts. So it'll help you guys, and it'll help your probationaries if you're trying to get them dressed up. So you can always give them that link. But anyone that gets hired should automatically be going to the all these links and reading them before they do any training. So they should see this. Uh, all right next thing that is going to be driving uh obviously you should know about this from your fto but we've been seeing it a lot recently uh the ems ambulances are slow they're slow for a reason for realism i get that can be a pain in the ass to get to polito and all that uh, and that's just how it is uh and you can uh, you can stage up accordingly for that there are places uh, that you can stage up where you can reach everywhere, like uh, how reporter stages up in Sandy Shores, where you can reach Polito, and you can reach the city within about three minutes, uh, driving realistically. Now, with the, realis uh, the realistic driving, uh, going 120 through the city, not realistic at all. That needs to stop. Going through right lights, even if it's green lights, you must clear the intersection. Clearing the intersection means honking your horn or going through the uh, different siren patterns and slowing down when going through the intersection. You must be doing that. You have to be clearing it because there's there, and recently there's been incidents where some EMS have struck civilians, and that can be uh, that can be changed by you guys you guys uh clearing the intersection so a good ways to do that is you're coming up to an intersection press r when you have your lights and sirens on that changes the siren pattern then when you're going through the intersection honk your horn like a motherfucker spam e and go through slowly so go about you should be going about 30 20 maybe yeah maybe about 30 miles an hour through the intersections and that's go looking both ways before you enter the intersection. And especially through Legion Square, you should be going very, very, very slow. And I get that some civs, they don't respect that. And they don't pull them over no matter what. Even if you're going 10 miles an hour, they still won't pull over. And that's that's just how it's going to be. And there there's a charge that you LEOs may know. It's failure to... Uh, yield to an emergency vehicle. I'm the one who got that added into the MDC because of this reason. So we 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 want you guys reporting that too to the uh to the to the LEOs. 
that people weren't pulling over and maybe get their plate or something. Now, with that said, you shouldn't be stopping when you go into a medical emergency to get someone's plate or anything like that. If I can add on to that, for example, what happened to me on my way to a call in the quarry? An officer was on scene at the exit, told the guy he was good to go. Uh, Garcia clipped it. It's clipped. I had my lights, sirens still pulled out in front of me. If you do hit, and I'm adding on this, if you do hit somebody, stop. Attend to that scene. If there's another EMS, have that EMS go to the scene you were going to. You must stop. Not yet. Well, that's supposed yeah, to be that's like that. that. It's supposed to be like that period. Leos are supposed to be doing that. If they're in a 1080 and they hit a civilian, they have to stop, but they don't fucking do it. So, you know, it's expected of you guys. You're here to save lives, not take them. You fucking hit a civilian. And if I ever see this, if I see an ambulance hit a civilian, even if it's just a car and they keep going, I'm going to pull your ass out of that ambulance. I'm going to arrest you and I'm going to put you in for attempted murder. I'm not fucking around with this shit no more. The reason now, here, now look, the reason I posted that picture, that shit happened to me in real life. That ambulance right there, that lady pulled out in front of me, even though it was just like how Porter said, except that the difference was there was no traffic stop. I hit that lady. And you know what? I got in trouble for it because I didn't clear my intersection. I wasn't watching what I did. I'm not kidding, y'all. This is a fucking serious issue. I have gotten five fucking reports of EMS going Mach 3 through fucking intersections. That is not how I'm not I'm like I'm tired of getting these fucking reports for people. I don't know why they have to keep going to me about it, but this is going to yeah. stop. I'm telling you all right now. Yeah, you know, I add a little bit to the um, one of the things with lights and sirens is that it is a suggestion. It is not a demand. They still have the right of way, whether we like it or not. So our lights and sirens coming through that intersection basically is asking permission to cross, even though we have a red light. It's not a demand. It's an ask. And we have to abide by that. Yeah, it's not like, no, yeah, there is a charge. If you, if you don't you know, yield to the emergency, you're leaving your trouble. That's right. But it's still permission. It's You're asking permission from people. It's not saying, hey, I'm a big red and white fucking ambulance. I can go through whatever the fuck I want. That's not true. I can tell you, I've had a couple of buddies of mine in real life who have gotten in a lot of fucking trouble that have gotten in car wrecks. And it was the other driver's fault, but it was still theirs because they they didn't do anything right. Just like y'all, just slow down. Get the patient there alive. Get there alive. Care about the community and all that. Don't fucking take out Sally and her fucking three buddies in a car because you want to get to the meth lab because some dipshit blew himself up. Don't do that. I promise you. I promise you. If I see an ambulance while through an intersection, when you're done with your scene, I'm going to be pulling you off because this is going to stop. We're not going to be PD. I can't like when I ran this department, no offense to Garcia or anything. We are not going to be PD. PD likes to run through shit and hit people and keep going. And it pisses me the fuck off because it's not realistic. And it's exactly like, there you go. Garcia just posted that video in general chat. That's just, that, that's why. There are so many, I have lost two friends of mine in real life to car accidents because they did not clear their interest. It's, I know this is just a game, but we're trying to be as realistic as possible. This is the realism part. They stop at the intersections. When I'm running code three to any call, I stop at the intersection. I look both ways twice. I turn on my, I think it's called Yelp. It's part of my siren. I honk my horn and I. Now, even through green lights, even if it's a green light, you got to slow down because you still have fucking people that will blow through red lights because they aren't paying attention because, you know, angry birds is important. So just slow it down. Like honestly, what what the fuck are they? Where the fuck are they gonna go if they take an airlift? Oh well, they lose their money, they lose their guns. That's not our issue. We're there. They are just not patient. Don't get in trouble for doing stupid things. One of my favorite quotes is just don't do anything stupid. Oh my god, that video is old, Garcia. <laughs> That's like 1990. Holy shit. 
Yeah. You call an old clock. Um, oh. Wait, can I? Ninety-three. Sure. Um, I'm no Mel was. It was I was with Mel that day. Um, when you've got certain people uh, or Elios freaking rushing you, trying to get you to the scene as fast as you can, and we're like, we can't go any faster than. Come to us. You know. Yeah, you, you, you tell them to simmer the fuck down. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. You don't. You don't do that. You don't. You don't tell them. That's another thing. You guys can't tell them what what to do and what not to do. That's not going to be acceptable. Uh-uh. You come to us, and then we go to their command. You don't go to them directly, especially on a scene. Yeah, we'll handle. I'm we will handle. Yeah, I know. We that's gonna be. I can't. You're. I'm gonna have to talk to you about that later too, because I can't remember which department it was. But I already, I already yeah. talked to Lucas about it, Mike. Oh, you did. Okay. I, I mean, I know I've had, I've had Elios when I've been on duty scream in my ear, tell me to hurry up. Exactly. Yeah. No, you yeah. can honestly, uh, honestly. I mean, no disrespect to you, Garcia. I would not give a shit if Franz or any of these people in here said, "All right, fuck off. I'm getting there." I'm trying to get these fucking cops lately. I know everyone agrees with me. They're all fucking gung ho on getting to scene. That this needs to be addressed in the departments too. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm sure High Command's gonna have to make a meeting, but it's getting a little out of hand. My main problem is when you have Leo saying, "Oh, stop working on the patient you're working on, and I need you down here to help me out with this patient." It's like, no, no. I'm already on a scene, sir. It's like, I, I can't. I got to take care of this guy. You could stabilize, stabilize the guy you're with. And if it's minor, take care of him. If not, just stabilize him. I'll be there as soon as I can. It's, yeah. I it's, they're all you basically, to, if I if on, you know, I wouldn't say correct. I would just say, honestly, EMS is unavailable for call outs at this time. If they get, well, we need you over here now, EMS is unavailable for call out. I just use the mute button. Just go ahead and mute yourself. That works. I yeah, started, I started yeah. doing that too. Yeah, nine yeah, times out of ten, I, if I'm on I call, if I if I'm on call, I need I need to mute dispatch to hear what my patient said. Because when you've got like in in a busy dispatch, like say for example, half of this channel is currently in dispatch, you you can't hear shit. If it's an active dispatch, you're not going to hear jack dick. Exactly. When with you're everyone kneeling patient. over you, so you you need the 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 uh, universal mute button on hand on dis on Discord. You know, I'd recommend everyone set one up. I can't have mine set to my end key. Uh, toggle deafen button just so you don't have to tab out mute whatever it's just it was long oh and if i can add on like here's an example of that dispatch show ems one or whatever ems you are going dark until further notice going dark means you're turning off the radio all right and let, let me just say something on that we're lucky that we have the ability to do that because in most servers in their dispatches they do not allow uh, their players, uh, EMS and Elios, to mute and dispatch. They actually get in trouble for that. So we're lucky that in this in this server we're allowed to do that and use that use that to your advantage. With that said, though, like Porter said, you have to let them know so they don't think that you're being kidnapped and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. that's another point I want to make. If you if you gotta go back, uh, let someone know. If it, well, I mean, I'd say do the slash out and do it, but that doesn't work for us. Just uh, let someone just announce. EMS going dark or um or right, whatever. Right, but half whatever, the time whatever. nobody listens. No, oh, that's, yeah, well, that's they, on them. You said it. That's on you them. You said it. Yep, exactly. You said it. If they don't listen, that that's them. You said it, so you're fine. Uh, it's just like it's now, just like Garcia said. If y'all are getting bitched at by PD, come to us about it. We'll t- we'll fucking take care of it very quick. I've already gone off on an officer for one already. Like I I may not be a high ranking officer in the police department. But, dude, I ain't going to have any of my fucking... I'm not going to get yelled at to hurry up. So, I've already gone off on somebody. Y'all know I can be an asshole. You, and a good good way to say it is, I'm currently on the way safely. And just say that. And if they keep on going off on you, then, I mean, then then come to us. About, yeah, don't... don't that, if, I can, not, if I can, don't immediately go to it. Go after the scene is done, all right? Yep, do not deal with any anything on a scene because your EMS, your job is to save the life of the call that you're going to. That can wait. Or you can say if they're giving you too much trouble, you can say you can take it up with my commander as politely as possible. 
No, just yeah. say if you have a problem with how I responded to the scene, you can go ahead and complain to a supervisor of mine. You can talk to a supervisor. And if really, if anything, if I'm on, like y'all, if I'm on sheriff and I'm out in the county, if you need an EMT supervisor, call me down. I don't give a fuck. Hey, say, hey, client, I need you down here. I have an officer that's pissed off with me. Or, hey, client, I have a patient here that's pissed off with me. I'll come down, no problem. Yeah, for example, I called client. I called all the higher-ups while I was on the scene. I'm like, hey, I need you down here, all right? And guess what? They do come when they get cleared, all and, right? And also remember, just because if you see a higher command officer on their Leo doesn't mean they're not going to come help you. No. No, if yeah, there's a supervisor in there, if there's a supervisor in there, you got to follow a chain of command. You try to directly talk to the person that you have an issue with. If issue with, if that doesn't work, go to the supervisor. If the supervisor doesn't do it, go to the commander. If the commander doesn't, you just keep moving on and on and on. And then, on, but then you also need to just make sure to let us know. Hey, I had to go to I don't know fucking Brockwell about fucking Jimmy and LAPD because he yelled at me because I was going too slow for him. Yep. So hey, don't, don't, be, don't afraid. be afraid to come to us for anything. We're open about it. We're we're totally fine with all that. Uh, if anything, yeah. I love yelling at people. Alright. Next. Alright. Now, next thing is this kind of ties in everything that we've been saying about this all and the guns and everything. <laughs> Remember, we're not above the law. We're we're you can think about it like we're civilians, but we're we're just medics. We're not above the law in any any form of that. Uh, we have to abide by the laws. We're not exempt from them. Run through red lights, none of that. Uh, if you're going through red light, you must either do sirens or lights, lights and sirens, no matter what. You can't just go run through it without a horn honk or anything like that. You must do one of those, or else you will. You can be pulled over by an LEO, and they can give you a ticket for it. Now, uh, next thing is uh, stealing cars uh, off duty or on duty uh, to get from the PD to the FD. Uh, now, I know that that shit's annoying, uh, especially for you LEOs that you spawn there. It's just how it is. Matt hasn't made it an option where we can choose where we spawn in at so a good thing that you can do is you can ask someone or you just end up running to the garage or run into that and on nine times out of ten I, vehicle yeah nine times out of ten if i can't get a ride i'll just run like yep exercise exactly. you know, it's so not that far it it's just not five like, minutes yeah just role play that was you you know you want to exercise whatever fuck it it's as simple as that oh yeah just ask them and they will they understand fine what well, like it's like they know you when you're around the corner and they'll they'll be more than happy to give you a ride. And y'all, I can't stress this enough. I we keep saying it over and over again. We are not PD. We do not have commandeering powers. We do not commandeer vehicles in the fire department. There is no such thing. If you are on route to a call and you wreck your ambulance or you flip it. You don't get to run up to a civilian on the side of the road, take their vehicle, and then keep going or go yeah, back to get it, a vehicle. It's one of those tough shit situations. You, you 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 call it in, you ask for a ride, you do not steal a vehicle. And you feel embarrassed. Realistic, then you're fine. Think about it that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like if, I, if I'm an LEO and I see any AMS, I'm arresting you on this. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. If you steal a vehicle, I'm arresting you. No, I don't expect that. I'm sure that you're losing your job. As an LEO, are we allowed to, no, as an EMS LEO, once we do come in, are we allowed to commandeer the, um, your part, your department's vehicle straight to Rockford? So no, they've, they, uh, from what I've, what I've remember from what Matt said, we've had it, we had an issue back then where that's exactly what cross department EMTs were doing. We're going on duty PD and then going off duty and getting back on as EMS. Don't do that. Because think about it this way, you're driving in a cop car, someone asks you for your for your for the help, you can't help them because you're not because you don't have your duty. yeah you also don't have your weapons on you. So yes. if someone tries to shoot at you, guess what? Good luck punching somebody who's shooting at you. 
And also, during that time that you're going from PD to FD, there could be four officers on, and you just going on for those short two minutes will make it five and give anybody an opportunity that will rob a bank. And you going on duty as EMS, they lose that one extra person that they could use in a bank robbery. Actually, on that, it's not five, it's four it's now. It's four now. Yeah, they okay. he, he does. Torn doesn't. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, well, and for, it's three, three for 24 sevens, four for banks. I mean, regardless, like, it's exactly as Franz said. I've already talked to Garcia McFly. You're not only, if we catch you fucking stealing vehicles, even off, because guess what? When you're off duty, you still represent this department. I can't stress that enough to y'all. So if y'all decide, like, here's the thing. I fucked up one time. You know, I fucked up. I got a DUI. I, if y'all don't know that, I had a DUI on my record because <laughs> I, I remember. Know. I think I, I was the one who see. got him. I, I, fu I fucked up that, and I got a DUI because I pissed Mel off, and <laughs> I didn't know that LAPD actually started patrolling near the fucking tequila law. So I went <laughs> flying by, and I'm like, son of a bitch, there's a fucking LAPD car there. And I had the roleplay as being drunk, and guess what? I got a DUI. I was, ex you know, they decided not to fire me, They, but I was on the suspension, couldn't do anything for a while. But, y'all, I'm not fucking kidding. If you're caught, because here's the thing. What I had is a misdemeanor. It's not a felony. You you stealing a car is a felony, and that means you get blacklisted. That We don't accept felony charges inside the departments. Uh, one further point on the going from uh, going on as a LAO to EMS vehicle location, don't double up. What I mean by double up is don't go on duty as say PD and then also go on duty as EMS, but don't get off as PD. Like, oh, as EMS, then PD. Like, don't be, this is mostly applying to any of us in here who have LEO characters as well as EMS. So, say for example, uh, you go, see, see, for example, for me, I go CHP, but also go on duty as EMS, having all of the EMS perks and abilities while being on CHP and getting calls for EMS as, like, as on duty. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. You can't, can't do that. I about to say, I didn't think it worked anymore. No, it, it, it doesn't. Um, it used to be a thing. I'm just, I uh, don't know if it still works. Just letting people know if you do do it, don't. It screws it, up your it, permissions. Anyway. Yeah, it, it, it fucks you up heavily, and it's also heavily, you know, frowned upon. Mm -hmm. uh, quick point on the felony thing where you get blacklisted. Um, in any pertinent situation, that something does happen. Let's say, for the example, the person who was fired for, who did get arrested, would he, would that person be allowed to come back as another character? Yeah. No, yes. like, like we can't force you, like, you want to create another character and you want to fucking be a EMS on that character. We can't stop you because that's a whole different person, but it's this character, like, if Thornton decided that he wanted to go and steal a car and he fucking ran five people down in VD, or not VDM, he fucking ran five people down in Legion because he fucking hates these people. Hey, I would run six. It. Get it right. Okay, sorry, six people down. Okay, dude, then guess what? Go. You're going to jail, first of all. So once you go to jail, guess who they're going to message next? They're going to message... No, well, you, they might message you. They might just find somebody, somebody in this department and say, hey, i just letting you know. I don't know if you need to tell your superiors. Yeah. I, arrested, I arrested Franz for prostitution. You know? Yes! You know? Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you never know. But any felony charges, any felony charges are not allowed in the departments. Now, I can't help if LAPD, LESD, CHB have allowed people to fucking get into the departments when they have felonies. I know we had somebody a while back that did have felonies and two bans on his record, and we let him back Wait, in. What? Yeah. No, it was a long time ago, though. I got rid of him yeah. on, like, the second day I was 901. So... <laughs> Class. But regardless, we're not kidding with this. We've this isn't happening anymore. We do not have commandeering abilities. I am actually encouraging police if you guys are doing that shit, stealing vehicles because you broke yours. I want them to arrest you. Okay. Um. Uh, Garcia, after this, I need to one with you. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, next thing is uh. Harassment reports to uh, PD, so that it can be CHP, PD, uh, LAPD, SD, uh, and command in the FD. So if someone's harassing you and shit like that, 
do it in character like like you would if someone's harassing you. I uh, just want to bring that up just so everyone remembers that. Yeah, that means that, 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 that point it falls in the grief. Yeah, here's a like I know the main thing of harassment that we have is my dick gut. Even if you like ladies, I, it mainly happens to y'all because fucking little boys have to get some somehow. They fucking and every time uh, on a on a role play server. Yeah, every fucking time I have yet seen a one guy that's either not new or in a gang that said, yeah, my dick hurts every time fucking there's a female. I have I told y'all. I've gotten worse than that. What do you yeah, on that yeah. point. That's horrible. So, yeah. ladies, if ladies. You get a call, like, sorry. I mean, if you do get a call and they're being sexual, like, you do it, making the sexual remarks, someone's like, you don't have to treat. They nope. And that's the thing. I should have leave. I have seen Sylvia attach cannons to people's penises because of that. And I'm allowed it. Because you know what? I think it's fucking stupid that guys have to say, oh, every time they get shot, their dick gets shot every time my lady handles it because they can't get any in real life. So I am allowing, honestly, I don't know if you're against this, Garcia, but I'm okay with whatever treatment you want to do. If you want, you know, if there's a gang member down and he says, oh, my dick hurts and his buddy's standing there, have them go pick up his dick. Have them stop the bleeding. You don't got to touch it. That's I, not our job. I put diapers on people that do that. I've let a, eliminate that is give them a, look a at permanent mangina. Their dick, their dick fell off. Oh well, it's done for. You know, you have a you're a hermaphrodite now. Okay, I've, so oh, I've let so Lisa. Lisa. Use staples. <laughs> oh, I remember on somebody. So I have a question. You, you. I'm sure Garcia has already heard about my little crap that's been going on but okay so where do i start with us you, so like with her filing harassment pd yeah. immediately but you I can did. go remember client i did that what happened well Nothing. i don't know then i don't know is he still doing it is he still doing it i haven't seen him okay um, if they're still if they're still doing it take it up that that point is griefing well, honestly, there's here's the problem. What I see with griefing, and the, they just because somebody says every time you show up on scene, my dick hurts, doesn't mean it's griefing. But if they're following you around, trying to get you to do stupid shit, obviously handle it. I okay. So but, I told you what that one dude said, right? Yeah, I that's I know not, what he said. That's not griefing. That's that's. Plain. Yeah, he's stalking. Yeah, he's stalking. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take care of it. I've just waited for him to get he, in the city. He, he's been in the city twice. I week. haven't been in the city. I haven't been in the same city. I've seen as him yet. once on freaking Elio, but I haven't said anything. But I didn't pick him up because I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I even told, I think Brockwell was on. I said I'm not picking him up for reasons. I'm not doing it. Okay, that's fine. And that's the thing. Y'all can decide who you treat and don't treat when it comes to. Them. If there's been someone that's harassing you. Fuck them. Let them lay there. You know, I did. I was about to do that with somebody that we like the times the other day. And I'm like, fuck it. Leave them there. Let him fucking bleed out. If he doesn't want to fucking be realistic and fucking be like, oh, I've got fucking 10 taser prongs in my back. I can't move. Fucking let him respawn. But here's the thing. Y'all, I, I want, especially the females, if y'all are being harassed like that, come to us. You can come to the, you go to a fucking EMT that's an LEO too. I promise you, I, you can ask any of these dudes. I know Franz for a fact will fucking go after them. Well, I definitely will immediately. Like, if I'm in the city, you're like, hey, Klein, can you come down here? This guy is saying his dick hurts. I will go off on him on scene. Oh, I will definitely do that. I'll be like, yeah, no, I will literally, so here's what I do. If I, you know, get calls in that someone's doing that, I'll be like, all right, I'm coming down. And farm, the, and farm, yeah, no one's treating you put any calls in, no one's attending. I will also inform everyone in dispatch, anyone coming in, not to treat said individual because they're saying the dick hurts, this hurts, what? But honestly, the, the best the way sexual, to just... The, the sexual harassment and the abuse, when I'm around, it, it, I, I don't tolerate it. Like, no one, I, and no one does. And even in the server rules, it's, it's against server rules. We're not supposed to be doing it. Like so even, honestly, if it keeps happening, go to the admin. Be like, hey, or put in a player report. Hey, I've got this guy constantly fucking... I Every time I roll up, I know. No, so the thing no. is, I was with 
um, on duty that night as Nellio with Bloom, and the shit she got said to her beyond the sexual har- harassment and assault chat was on was all there. Um, so what we've done on Nellio is now we have we've got we, we have access to not um, on charge her, just adding in you know not saying the you know sexually aggressive towards um, EMTs officers whatever goes a long way when they uh, people officers check the charge uh, charge search. Yeah. And uh, for me, at least, uh, I know it, it really doesn't matter. Like, it can go either way because I know I was on a scene with friends and this dude kept running and I kept, like, and getting hit by a car. And I was like, listen, this is your last chance. I put him in the ambulance. We were going about 80 down the highway and I fucking, he jumped out. And I was like, Jim's like, and friends was behind me. And I was like, I was like, dude, you can help him if you want, but I'm not helping him. Oh, I, oh, I, I know. I, I, okay. The, the, the guy it was, so we, we me and uh, Bangs turn up on scene. This guy got hit by a car or something. Fuck it, we don't even know. He's screaming the entire time. Uh, we pick him up, runs into oncoming traffic five separate times. At this point, and then, so as we get him away, I'm like, okay, we'll give him one more chance. He behaves like maybe a second. At 80 miles an hour, he jumps out the back of the fucking ambulance into the front of my fucking Tahoe. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, he's dead. Um, yeah, and report him for failure, P. Not valuing their I, life. There's, there's no, there was no value of life. There was nothing. It was just straight up fail happy, no value. If you get yeah. anything like that, and you just don't treat them. If you feel like they're not valuing life and the breaking rules, don't treat them. And I mean, honestly, and, and I, if they if they start yelling at you, hey, you have to treat me, like no, I I don't. It's same with harassment. If they're harassing you, just leave. Just leave. Like, we're not going to waste resources on people that don't want to be fucking realistic. It was just like what happened at the fucking... Y'all heard about what happened with uh, what's his fucking dick. Eric Westwood, when I was trying to treat him and everybody fucking... Yeah. 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 You know what I told EMS? Don't come down here anymore. Because you know what they started to do? They started to pull that fucking Antifa bullshit that they thought was realistic and start standing in the streets. And guess what? The very first fucking time after we dealt with them, someone got hit by a car, he had to respawn. Because we're not gonna waste EMS or police resources on people who are just gonna oh, do know, I, shit I, like that. I, I can actually one up that. I was on my criminal character bath salts and my doing drug, and I might have hit two of them without even knowing. Um, yeah. Obviously, I had to go back, but they're sitting in the middle of the road. Just yeah. So not, not just saying lead. You can't even see them. They just mounds. Look like a dead body. So, so like, oh. in conclusion, if you, they're harassing you. You don't have to treat them. Let one of the command let command know. Let an LEO know. The LEO is supposed to go to a supervisor who's supposed to go to the to like a lawyer to get a restraining order. Honestly, the best way to do it is put a restraining order. But it's a little hard to do that when you're EMS because you still have a you know a calling to you have to respond to the call. But honestly, it's like with this guy in and Mel. I told her if he's calling nine one one, don't respond. If he's just gonna sit there and he's like stalking you and doing stupid shit like that, leave it. The thing is, we didn't know though because me and Mel like we got a call from someone else, and when we walked up there, we were like, "Oh shit, it's him again." Then drive but away. What she did was she called she called one of the um, one of the uh, officers on duty to like come down because we told them why, and they did, and then yeah. It was like handled there and it if it. you've noticed it, that guy you're talking about, he usually doesn't do that when there's a copper because he knows he's going to get thrown in handcuffs. And he knows for a fact that I'm going to throw him in handcuffs. And I told him this. I told him, if you fucking mess with her again, if you mess with any of my EMTs like this again, you're going in cuffs. But that, again, this, if y'all need, if you need to file for her, ask, do it, file it for, you can message me, Dorton, McFly, Garcia, any of your higher command, just put it in there. Say, hey, this guy has been saying my dick hurts every time I roll up on him. It's not realistic. I don't want to treat him. And you know what? I am not going to say boo diddly shit if you don't want to treat somebody that's doing that. So, because it's not fucking realistic. You know, not everybody. I, I have been an EMT for two years. I have never in my life, except for one time, had to fucking treat somebody's dick. And the only reason I had to treat this dude's dick is because it was, well, it, it, there's bad things that happened to him, but <laughs> regardless. She got was, it, was it McDaniel? I wish it was McDaniels. All right. Uh, next thing <laughs> is uh, just, just the FTOs. Uh, keep up the great work. 
uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, we really do. The department wouldn't be like uh, like it is now without you guys. Uh, uh, sergeants, uh, there have been changes. Uh, we'll post something into the into your guys's chat for uh for those of you sergeants that couldn't make it. Uh, they uh, you guys can no longer do evaluations. You can do initial training, and you can do uh you can do initial training and you can do uh, FTOs. So which uh who does evals now? Eval is lieutenant enough. enough. Okay, uh, that's me at the picture then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next is uh, senior EMTs. Uh, can now only uh they can do field training. Uh, they cannot do initials. They cannot do uh evaluations. So you can only if someone needs an FTO. You can only take them out and uh, and and take them in the field training. Uh, we'll get with you guys in a little uh, about how to how to do that uh, for those of you that are new and don't know, and uh, how to document uh, your hours and all of that that you did with the probationary EMT. Uh, when you do need, uh, I guess you can I make a point. Yeah, go for it. Um, so it was, it's kind of crossing over from CHP that we've uh, had to announce is just because you got friends in the department, don't just run them through. Follow procedure. Just because your friend don't just run them through as quickly as you can, just get them evaled, solo cleared, whatever. If we find out that that's what's happening, I'm going gonna to kick your ass. Action. Yep. Like it's not only on the document, minimum of 10 hours at least. And then the FTO that's doing the eval has to feel comfortable. I promise y'all, if I fucking find out you're just pushing th people through because they're a good buddy of yours, I'm going to demote your ass and I'm going to demote your buddy. To you, like, back down to cadet. Because that's fucking ridiculous. Like, I, I've had friends, I've, you know, personally trained, and, I, and I've still thought, yeah, you're not ready for this. And they're like, well, why are you not doing it? You're not ready. It's, it's as simple as I'm not. As for me, when I do my training as either FD or CHB, I still have, I still try to keep as high as a quality as I can in my own track. If I don't feel you ready, I ain't, I ain't pushing that shit. Alright, next thing is uh, uh, pulling rank. It's, uh, it, it won't be tolerated anymore. It's just one thing that we've been seeing again from some, a select few pulling What's rank. Is, that? Uh, basically flexing, if you will, your rank. Showing, hey, look, I'm higher than you. The old, like I said, what, like I said from the from the start of the meeting, we're family. Rank is only there for the, uh, for the. It's for law reasons. Rare occasions yeah. that that rank is needed. That's the only reason. Yeah, I don't ever rub uh, that I've you know been in this department for three years or anything like that. If you want to make a suggestion with somebody, be like, hey. So I noticed you did it this way. Do, don't you think that maybe, you know, you should bandage the wound first and then apply the medication? Yes. Like, There's plenty of friendly. polite ways to go around. It's like, says, hey, I know you've done like this, but maybe have you considered doing it like this? And then explain why. And then, if like, and then you know, you, you just give them an opinion. Don't force it on them. At least like, try not to come across as like a gigantic D-bag going, like, hey, you've done it like this, but this, this was clearly far superior. Don't, don't be that guy. Unless it is like a breaking of the SOP rule or anything like that. That is the only time I'd be okay with you pulling a rank kind of thing. But it's not you pulling a rank. It's telling him, hey, we don't fucking do that. Now, the one thing I will be on your ass about, and I've seen this happen, not with not with the, not with the FD, but we're back we're, uh, a couple of months ago. We had one individual decide he was going to perform open uh, field surgery on removing a bullet from someone. Uh, he was informed oh, yeah. he couldn't do that. And then decides he would do slash me, puts the bullet back into the suspect. Yeah, I remember if that. I, I, remember I remember that. that. Wow. If I, I remember that, hearing that. If I see that, I will personally rip you a goddamn new one because that shit is fucking stupid. Yeah, that's his fail. No, 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 no. It's, We're not. No, no. That is going to get you arrested. Yeah. 
If you if you do slash me removes bullet and then get told you can't do that and go slash me puts it back in, I'm sorry, but that's it, called that's involuntary. That's, that's called gross. Point. That is called gross negligence, and it is a felony up to five years. So don't. Two, freak. I'm gonna add on to this. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's going to try. It's still the whole It's common sense. He didn't know he could sense. do that. Had to but pull it out. Where else would you put it? That back yeah, in the like, body. He didn't that's know. Like... So he thought, he thought by putting it back in, he was making it right and to continue the thing. But him doing that made it IC, which meant. Gee, um, I, okay, the thing is, I have it on stream. I have it clipped. I have the entire yeah, scene of that. I clipped clip. it. I was on his stream. That's like a surgeon. That's like a surgeon going, like doing appendix surgery, and then realizing, "Oh crap, this is a." Limit. Well, the thing is, my 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 boss at my two hundred one at the time was on scene with us, and he came to my stream. The mid 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 thing is like, "That's all your fault. You started that," which admittedly it was. I said, "Hey, um, I don't think we can do open surgery like that." He's like, "Oh," and then just admit immediately after slash me puts a bullet back in. Yeah, we're not. Our job as EMTs, paramedics, just fire anything is to stabilize the patient. We do not take anything in. We do not push anything back. Mm -hmm. Like, on like even like with people who've been shot with arrows, we literally bandage around the arrow. Yeah. Because it's, it's, if yeah. for y'all who don't know anything, like really anything medical, the reason why we leave things in people is because that's actually like it's a blood clot in a way yeah. like it stops the bleeding like if you have somebody like stabbed with a knife and it's in there and it's not coming out you're actually stopping the bleeding from being worse they're yeah, always safer bleeding. it's a lot safer though it's mm -hmm. also it's also mm -hmm. if you remove it you could also make the injuries far worse and actually yeah. cause the death of said yeah. patient which at that point if you cause that I'm sorry, but that's involuntary manslaughter. It's it, it is, and it's a yeah. it, you can't. And that's why, like the quick clot, that's probably about the farthest thing we will ever put in. So, rather than IVs and liquids and medications, that's about as much as we will ever put in. The yeah, we don't. Who, oh, Klein, if I can add on for those who have been on scene with me, if you notice, I'm going to patients like that. Wanna know why? I go, okay, what's wrong with you? Oh, I got shot. Okay, zip through and through. Yes. All right. Quick clock. Bullets in there. All right. Quick clock. Band jump with the last advantage. Boom. You're done. You're stabilized. On to the next one. Like yeah. that. I mean, personally, yeah, I, like, I like through. to give a bit of depth to my medical role play. And yeah. I know a lot of people yeah, don't, and don't some, really like that. Some people, like, everyone yeah. has their own, like, own way to uh, do their medical app. No one's saying your, your way of doing medical app is right or wrong. It's how you want to. There's no right or wrong way. Yeah, there, and, like, and I guess that's the point. I don't know if I don't know if Garcia, if you've been stripped of like how we treat people. I mean, we're we are revive bots. Sadly, we don't really have a whole lot that EMS can. Do. So that's why we, you know, that's why a lot of people are like really. I don't. I'm at least you know relaxed with how you treat people. If you want to shove dirt in, all right. I mean, hell, y'all saw me give like porno bandages out. I mean it. It's relaxed because we right now there's not too much that is implemented to where where we can do something else than just oh gunshot wound gunshot wound car wreck gunshot wound gunshot wound. Uh, I'd like to make a suggestion for a client to get a new tag for ERP one. ERP. <laughs> ERP one. Uh, Garcia, can we make that happen? Maybe. All right. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. What? Right, so do you want me to do the? Do you want me to do the next one? Yeah. Uh, Klein will take this one. All right, y'all. So we made an announcement about it. Overuse of narcotics. Y'all, a guy falling off his bicycle and scraping his knee does not need morphine. For the love of God. Actually, morphine is actually not. We don't even like using morphine in the field because it, it lowers blood pressure and it can send the patient into shock. The only time, and I'm thinking about making like just something like more informative. If you really want to increase your RP, I might just make like a medication sheet and when to use. The only time we ever, and this is any narcotics, I morphine, freaking, uh, what's it called? On that point, there, Klein. Actually, can you could you do that? Because I'm actually yeah, yeah. I was that. about to say that. Um, I so it might take me. It might take me a little. Bit. It might be. It yeah. might take me a little bit. But here's the thing. The only time we've ever used narcotics for anybody 
in the in real life is gunshot extreme gunshot ones. I'm not talking about getting shot with a 22 in the foot. We're talking about like a shotgun to the fucking leg. I mean, like shotgun blast, AR blast, multiple gunshot wounds. You know, fall, jumping off a building, getting in a car wreck, broken bone. Those are the really the only times you need to be, or the patient is absolutely positively just screaming his head off, like in pain. I mean, we've even used morphine on appendicitis. Now, I know no one fucking role plays that, but, you know, we don't need to be using narcotics for every single call that we have. Morphine should be the last drug you use. You need to be using ibuprofen. You need to be using Tylenol. You need to be using, I mean, how I even take Benadryl, even though it's an allergy relief. It's still a pain relief. Um, don't I would elaborate a little bit on the morphine part. I would please suggest use morphine if you're reviving a patient and if you yeah. put an AED on it, because it will actually, no, you don't use morphine. Increase oxygenation to your, uh, your patients. You don't use morphine to revive patients. Use atropine and, uh, Epine- yeah, no, I'm talking about in a, well, I use morphine in the hospital emergency room. Uh, it increases the oxygenization inside the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, well, in the field, we don't, like I said, we don't want to use morphine because it's just, if you already, here's the thing. When you get shot, there's, I can't remember the exact name for it. And honestly, I'm going to be very shocked if any EMT can remember the name. It's basically whenever you get shot and you lose blood, your body is trying to compensate for something. It's just trying to compensate for the blood that you lost. You pushing medications into someone and like morphine is spent. Morphine, first of all, is a highly addictive narcotic. It can be very, very, very addictive. So if you're constantly pushing morphine, that person can actually get addicted to it. Another thing is it lowers your blood pressure. So, you know, someone who gets shot, usually their blood pressure goes up. Yeah, because okay. they're trying to compensate for what just happened to them. And thus, you know, when you're like, oh, well, I'll just push morphine and, you know, it, it'll it'll help them that you're not being pain. You're actually making it worse because now you're dropping it extremely low and then they go into shock. And then now you have another problem. So I have a story for this client because Holly accidentally misinterpreted something. I said, OK, so so you all seen the clip of Tommy. Well, Holly basically crash landing that helicopter and it was out of commission. All right. Basically I told Holly, give this guy 0.05 cc's of morphine. She gave him five cc's of morphine. I'm like, I'm like, I remember that. I saw the slash me in the chat. I'm like, Holly, are you sure you gave him 0.05? She's like, no, I gave him five. I'm like, get the EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> oh you just God. killed him. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> that's yeah. all right. Everybody's yeah. messed yeah. up like that. It happens. Yeah. I yes. wanted something. Line. As soon as you said Shut that, up. I immediately said, "Get that epipen." I saw the slash me. Uses his epipen on him. Yeah, See? y'all, it, you got to be careful. That's why I'm kind of. I don't know if I really want to put dosages and all that because th- it also depends on the person. Sometimes. Oh yeah, Art. it yeah, just depends. It, it was, it was it, it's all it's all scenario based. Like, yeah. Personally, yeah. I'd like to know not like dosage, just like what medication, like which drug does what, narcotic does what type of thing. Well, and I'm not um, gonna. I honestly, I, I mean, I'll make a, I'll make something for that, but I'm yeah. not gonna give you like a ton of different medications because I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it, exactly. Even as an EMT, I don't. Maybe like I already got yeah. quick cheat cards for that for ACLS and everything. Mm-hmm. The ACLS. Yeah, I think the guideline in the quick cheat sheet how to what you need to give him. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. Here's also the reason why I'm pushing for combat medic. Most of you know there's no combat medic. Here, I know, I know, but like ERT, ERT medic. There you so, go. Oh my. Fuck. Yeah, that that's what I mean. Okay. So basically, some of us here do play Arma Three. I don't know. I, I know do. Brian does. I do. Okay. What's that? Game? I used to play it. <laughs> I was a field medic. So some of my references, and Klein knows this, some of the stuff I use comes from Arma 3, what I would use in Arma 3. Well, here's the thing. The differences between a field medic and the Army and EMTs yeah, in this city is different. that we don't have BDUs, and we also don't yeah. fucking call for a helicopter extract when we're getting shot at. So, Wait, yeah. can we, can we just pause right here? 
I just want to I just want to shame John Banks right now. He's muted in our meeting and he's playing a different server. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing rubber off here. Watch this. Uh, watch oh. You guys think I can munch in something real quick? And he's muted. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do you guys Basically, think that I can munch in something quick? If, I mean, if you're not going to take part of the main dome in the fucking chat. So just just to basically conclude this, y'all. I'll make a sheet of what medications you use. It's probably only going to have like three or four medications on it because that's all we really need to use. Unless you really, unless, I mean, I guess I'll put a poll out of how detailed Rico, you could probably help me out on that because I've only got EMT level knowledge on it. But you yeah. know, like don't, don't use the, the, don't use morphine for every, if the dude fell off his bike and he's not like in extreme pain, give him like Motrin. You know, he doesn't need morphine. He doesn't need Vicodin. He doesn't need anything like that. Just extreme gunshot wounds, extreme car crashes, like 1080 in progress. Somebody hits him, he flips, goes 500 feet in the air and lands on his roof. Okay, yeah, morphine it up. And because there's no really way of, like, taking blood pressure and pulses in the city right now, we can't really, like, determine when to give that because there's also a certain, like, your blood pressure has to be at a certain level for it to be okay to use morphine to prevent the shot. Guidelines. But regardless... Y'all, we got to stop at the overuse of medications. Like, honestly, it, we don't need morphine on every call. Just don't do that. Bad. Bad. <laughs> and, on, and honestly, it can be seen as negligence, too. Because if you're giving morphine for something that you don't need, you're also causing danger to that patient. So. All right. Uh, real quick, 974, do you want to throw them with you? Yeah, sorry, Ryan. I've been trying to get away in a little while. So I up in uh, can because I live in Canada and I've got the little Aussie accent, but uh, so I actually live in Canada. Um, up here, instead of giving people morphine and stuff like that for paramedics, they've actually been using nitrous oxide or otherwise known as laughing gas. It's a pretty good sedative. Uh, might be a good alternative instead of you know trying to push morphine for a patient, just give them a little you know puff yeah, of like nitrous oxide because it's uh, something that they, we've been bringing back up here in Canada. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I honestly. Yeah. Oh, that might not be a bad idea. That's a lot fucking less worse than giving morphine. I mean, you, you still, you still, you still yeah. don't. I'm sorry. Could you imagine Rusty's cram or sieve getting laughing gas? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, God. no. I mean, it, even regardless, even if it's laughing gas, you still don't need to be giving it for people falling over on exactly. their bikes or anything. So it, or getting it, punched. It, like I said, it's mostly use use it within reason. Like, yeah. And if it's out of reason, like if you don't feel it should be used, don't use it. If it's one of those, oh, some guy felt his bike, don't fucking do it. Like, say you got mobile gunshot ruins to alle alleviate the, like you know, use, use use your fucking head. Don't be yeah. a dumb shit. Yeah, especially when they're like you're releasing to the public. Do not give them narcotics. Give them something less, something they can like if they're going to be driving upwards. Give them something they can drive with. Realistically, your school of practice as a paramedic will not be entitled to give them any uh, narcotics unless you have a supreme um, paramedic slash another mm -hmm. critical care uh, certification. You will always yeah. have to do in a background, call into a hospital through the nurses or through the doctor on call, and they will give you the demand to give you the narcotics into it. So, I mean, here in Texas, like they, we usually, we have a certain amount we push. And then if we need to push more, we'll call the hospital. We'll call it something called a, uh, medical. So yeah. well, they will usually say, Hey, yeah, you can go ahead and push more morphine or, uh, no, hold off on the morphine, just get him. But with the fact that we don't really have like a hospital staff because there, we don't have enough servers on like the enough slot on the servers, you know? We can't really call in report. And now, I, Garcia, I'm actually gonna. I gotta talk to you about something. Uh, speaking of the hospitals later. Yeah, go ahead. pull me in there, please. Yep. If All I may right. add. So uh, for me, I've tried not to do any medication at all unless um, they tell me otherwise. Usually, one of the first things I ask is, on a scale of one to ten, what would you say your pain is at this time? And I kind of let them play it out. If it's anything below eight or seven, I will not give them anything at all because um, that's an indicator that they're not experiencing too much. 
So that's that's something that you could rely on. If it's a 10 or they say it's a 20 out of 10, then they're experiencing some major pain. All right. Uh, next thing is back to LEOs and EMS for both of uh, for those of you that are both. When you're on an LEO, you're automatically an LEO cert, uh, certified. So that, which, with that said, we expect for you guys to, if there's a bank robbery, we expect for you guys to be taking hand in uh, anyone that might be injured there. Uh, not letting the LEOs that aren't trained do that. Uh, next thing is uh, next thing is promotions. Uh, now we already mentioned about asking for promotions and all that. This is uh promotions for some of you guys. Uh, first one's gonna be Porter. You'll be promoted mm -hmm. to nine thirty one. All right. Uh, we'll get with all of you guys after the meeting. Uh, to talk about it. Uh, Mel Staples, you'll be promoted from nine five five to nine four nine. And uh, the other one isn't here, so we'll reach out to him after. Uh, next one is going to be Duke Jennings. Uh, you'll be from 968 to 955. Nice. Thanks. We can get it. Uh, and everyone else, please keep up the great work. Uh, we, we appreciate it, every one of you. Uh, we're thankful for it, and let's uh, keep on making the... Uh, the LAFD is strong. And, uh, we miss you, Garcia. Ben mm. CHP, man. We miss you. Yeah. Um, uh, I missed what was said. Am, um, I, am I bringing oh, up the, thing, Garcia, the other thing on the Can I add note? something? Oh, oh I don't know what. Just, just because, okay, just a heads up. If Because you didn't get burned doesn't mean they're not looking at you. There are some things. Like, I'm pretty sure you can go ask, like, hey, uh, what's the status of my next promotion? That's actually something you can do. Just do not be frequent with it. Like once every two to three weeks. No, you're not. No, Porter. Don't no, that's not a thing. You can't, you, not no matter what, you can't ask about promotions. promotions. Oh, okay. It'll, well, well, that's something that I could do at my, so. Sorry, that's something I can do in real life. I like, put that's, like, about uh, like, that's, that's like me asking command, hey, when's my next promotion? I, if I ask about it, I'm not getting it. it it's it's uh, one of those things. If you ask, you more mm -hmm. chances are you're doing most of more harm than good because... Oh, yeah. Like, like, and like it I does said, get the mark. We talk about yeah. it. Command, in our, in our chat, we talk about promotions almost every single day. So believe me, it's not something... And like I said... It, you sh that should not be the top of your priority at all. That should be at the bottom. The top of your priority should be getting on duty as EMS and making the department proud. All right. Uh, all right. So that got removed. Uh, mm. And uh, that concludes the... Uh, uh, I need to say something before the meeting. Um, uh, so you guys know I'm Rehab's American. Now. I help Ruby Anderson run that. Um, we're going to be setting up, like I said earlier, um, suicide prevention uh, certification. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, reach out to either me or um, Ruby Anderson when we're free, and we can do extensive training. So that will be in charge. You'll take priority of uh, talking people down in situations over LEOs and over other EMs and know what to say and when to say it. All right. Yeah, they had a good job oh. in the meeting. Thank you. Uh, special thanks to McFly too for uh, you know, working on our outline that we have that we're referring to. Because believe me, I didn't memorize any of uh, all of this. So, uh, does anyone have any any more questions, any more concerns before we start getting with uh, some select few of you guys about uh, FTOing and all that? ET on vehicles. No idea. Vehicles. No idea. I I've all right. with Gage. TBS. Um, I have a question about evals, but I'll have to tell more through that at some point. I'm working for him yeah, at the moment. I'm down with Gage. Right? Yeah, and thanks to Jennings, as some of you may have seen, the vehicles. Oh fuck it! I'll I'll release the document. Give me a sec.
Uh-oh. I got maybe a Don't suggestion. Don't get your hopes or maybe up. A... With this said, do not get your fucking hopes up, okay? <laughs> These vehicles, they're amazing and all, but we don't know when they're going to be in game mm. and if and if they are going to be in game uh i got i just got a, a question for all you uh real life uh fds and, para, and paramedics whether it be emtbs or or full paramedics um once you do go on duty how many are in your cabin do you ever go on duty by yourself two there's always two an emt and a yeah. paramedic or a paramedic and a paramedic See, I always thought so, and uh, that leads me into this next suggestion. Um, If we can, and if there is no backlash in between fellow paramedics in the same server, once you do go on duty, I don't know how command will feel about it. Why not ride along with the first paramedic who's there uh, to have two to help people lift up from the stretcher or whatnot? And you know what I mean? Because I don't ever seen anybody lift up a patient by themselves. Uh, if if available, to, and it'll make the RP more interesting between two, you two, between calls, and build maybe morale between the department. I don't know what does command say about that. Um, that is currently optional. That's up to you if you want to double up. All right. I'm, I mean, I would be okay with y'all double enough if you really want to. But, I mean, with the fact that I know a lot of us have other, you know, we have real-life stuff going on anyway. I know a lot of us has got finals this week and all that stuff. So, we're not really, like, nailing down hard, hey, you have to be with somebody else like real, like it was in real life. I mean, no, yes, the yes, way yes, yes. the way we were going to, the, the one way we thought we were going to originally, like, combat this narcotic thing is we're only going to allow paramedics to because that's realistic EMTs don't really push narcotics it's paramedic Mm -hmm. but you know again we can't implement everything into real life because it's not you know it's kind of sucks being I mean there are some there's something called a BLS unit basic life support where it's two EMTs and you know it really sucks going to like a multiple gunshot wound call, and you are literally just an EMT, so you can't fucking give this guy any pain medication. Okay, I mean, um, can I say something right now? Due to what I, I said earlier, that I was going an LOA. Yes, I have seen my doctor today. My doctor has put me on medication. If you start seeing me like this is a, just to everyone, if you start to see me like, like, like not. Like basically dozing off, off. Say, hey Porter, go ten forty two. Put you in drugs. I'm I'm on medication <laughs> right now because yeah. I have bone on bone in my jawline. Nice. All right. And that I'll say this: that shirt shit hurts like a son of a bitch. All right. Like there was sometimes like, like I was hopping on the server, everything was fine. Next thing you know. Bam. And it only comes from talking. I got to talk less. So you might hear me do shorter call-outs. I am actually going to be doing nothing but 10 codes until this is better. I mixed up with 10 codes and plan speak as well, because since in case we were, we were starting to rule out um, 10 codes and moved into t- uh, plan yeah. speak. Yeah. So basic ten codes are okay. You yeah. Don't want any anything that's like, for example, some LEOs that radio traffic stops. It's it's don't do that if you're an LEO, please, because the code that people are using for traffic stops in the state of California, they're actually radioing a dog fight every time <laughs> they radio it. Every single time, and it gets my mind. It gets on my nerves because you have these LEOs that come in here from other servers, and they start using all tank codes, nothing but tank codes. And in the state of California, what they're radioing is not is not correct. I just say traffic, dude. Like yeah, exactly, it's so and easy to just want. be like, it's so easy to just be like traffic Elgin. 
white buffalo additionals. Like it's so easy just to say something like that. Mm-hmm. It's quick and it, it it gets to the point. You don't have to be like ten forty six, ten ten, ten eight. No additionals. Well, a lot of the times too, it's cadets that are doing it, and they try to do everything by the book because they're new and they're scared. Yeah, and they want to impress. They down yeah. as well. Because in our in our SOPs, I mean, they have this, we have ten codes, and most of them we don't use. So that's something we try. Yeah, to I mean. There's I'm like not a- gonna be against y'all using ten codes, but they need to use our ten codes because, like, the other city yeah. I used to be on Insomnia, a lot of their ten codes mean something else. Like, it's it's exactly as Garcia said: the ten code for traffic stop exactly means dogfight. <laughs> so they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be at a dogfight." Um, With the buffalo, it doesn't make any sense. What's a ten twenty three? On on scene. Scene. Oh, huh, huh. I, I don't use 23s as I'm arriving on scene. I use on route, in route, you can go um, 1076. Uh, you know, the 10 code for in route is 1076. Which I'm pretty sure it means something else in LA too, but... Alright. Uh, so, any other questions, concerns before we start dragging people down and going over training and Whatever, what? Training stuff and other stuff. Take that as a no. Cool. No All right, thank you guys again. <laughs> yeah. No, Jesse, yeah, we're just yeah, we're good. I'm hungry. Yeah, you're good. All right. See you, boys and girls. All right. Thank Good you. Man. Hey. All right.